It is July 28th, and this is our preview of the Harborside Canted. It'll be our new model in Timber Ridge Estates. It is located on uh, home site 77, and we are anticipating it to be completed in September, and it will debut in the October Brunswick County Parade of Homes. Uh, so we're super excited uh, to have this. This is the first time we've ever built this house. Uh, it's a brand new plan. Again, it's called the Harborside Canted. And essentially it was driven by customer feedback. Um, it was, it's a, essentially a first floor of a Harbortown three, uh, but instead of have it being a true two story house, such as the Harbortown three, it has the bonus room over the garage like many of our other plans do. Um, you'll notice the Canted garage has the extended uh, bay uh, storage area here on the front. Nice shed uh, over detail over the garage door. Note that the garage door is eight foot tall and 18 feet wide. Um, and I really like the way that we've integrated the angled garage. Um, I think that it was executed really well. Um, see the connection piece there. The house has a lot of presence to it. It sits really prominently, has a ton of curb appeal. I think it's gonna be a really popular uh, model for us. Notice the big front porch. Um, the dormer upstairs uh, on, the, on the second floor is actually a functional dormer. It's not a faux dormer like you see on many of the houses. It, those windows, those three windows that you see there are actually allowing natural light into the house itself. Um, note the brick foundation. It's a brick raised slab, three course insulated foundation. And we do brick steps on the front porch, back porch, and in the garage as well. Um, the finish that you'll see on the front porch is a crushed shell. Um, it's unique to Haygood and it gives the house that nice coastal feel. This is not the finished product. Uh, it'll be sanded down uh, when the house gets closer to being finished. We use Thermatru for our front door. It's an eight foot Thermatru door uh, with side lights. Notice all the details on the front of the house, all the windows. That's gonna be the house color up there on the second floor. Okay, so nice big foyer. It's a two story foyer. You can kind of see there's those windows from the dormer outside. And then here is the front door. You got your pantry or uh, powder room on one side, pantry is on the other. Come in again. So this is kind of what you see. Vaulted ceiling in the great room. The beam details are part of the design in this house. And then you have built-ins on either side of the fireplace. Um, I love how the whole back of the house is glass with those two sliders. Um, nice big open great room most of our homes have 12 feet of space between the built or the the fireplace and the the electrical outlets in the floor this house has 15 so you have three additional feet in the great room area and then you'll see one of the things people love about this house as well as the harbor town is the amount of storage in the kitchen, the amount of cabinets, the amount of countertops, and the fact that the sink is on the outside wall. It's not in the island. There's nothing on the island. It's a four foot by nine foot six island, so it's a big island. And cabinetry will wrap down all the way down this wall and then all the way down to where you see that, um, that cord coming down, that's gonna be the wall, double wall oven there. So you'll have cabinetry all around the perimeter of that kitchen. So again, double wall oven here, cooktop here, and then your sink is here, and then the refrigerator goes there. Um, ton of cabinets and counter space. People love the fact that there's a window above the sink and the fact that there's two windows in the kitchen in addition to that. So there's actually four windows total in the kitchen. And then you also have a nice um, pantry. One thing to note is we custom build our shelving in our pantry. Um, it doesn't have, it's not vented wood, it's not wire shelving that your food's gonna fall through or fall over on. 
Uh, it's custom built and it's nice, big pantry also. The dining area is right next to the kitchen um, and it does have the slider going on to the screen porch as well. And then of course you have the great room. Here's another view of the great room here. Nice, really tall ceilings. This house feels really big. Um, I was showing it to someone yesterday and they thought it was over 3,500 square feet. So uh, it lives really big. Chuck and Barbara actually opted to do a four season room rather than a screen porch. So this room will have hardwood floors. It obviously has lots of windows. It's a sunroom and it also will have um, HVAC on a separate zone. Uh, we're seeing more and more folks doing the four season rooms. Um, I think right now we're probably at 50%. So 50% of the people opt to do a four season room and then 50% of the people will opt not to. But nonetheless, this room is the same size. Whether it's a screen porch or a four season room, um, it'll be the same size. They didn't enlarge it, so it's huge. Uh, whichever way you decide that you wanna live in your back porch area. All right, moving along. There's that foyer again, and then the powder room is up in the front there. And then there's the pantry on the other side, so that's the pantry right there. Um, so this way is the owner suite. It is one of the largest owner suites that we have in our collection. Uh, it's a very large bedroom, kind of an angle over here. Uh, I love the bay window detail, all the crown molding. Um, it's really nice. But like I said, this is one of the larger ones that we offer. And then you have the double vanity here, water closet with a linen inside. And then of course the Roman style shower with a lot of natural light. Above the tile, let she break down. All right, and then the main closet is here. Can't really tell in the video, but it's really big. Notice that all the ceilings on the first floor are 10 feet tall and that the doors are, are eight feet tall. Solid core doors in all of our bedrooms. Again, the powder room here in the front. Laundry room. Plenty of room for a cabinetry and a sink. Washer and dryer over there, obviously. A lot of natural light. One of the guest rooms is here. This guest room, some people opt to make an office uh, by instead of doing one door, doing French doors, um, and then also closing off the access to the bathroom. If you wanted to have an office downstairs, this makes a great office. Big closet. So you have your vanity. One of the things I like about this bathroom is that the vanity and the uh, toilet and shower area are actually separate. So there is a door here um, that you can actually close so that if you had um, someone taking a shower and someone getting ready, uh, they both could be in at the same time and still have privacy. Uh, here's the other guest suite here. Some storage under the stairs. There's no wasted space in this house. Notice how tall the windows are. We now do triple pane windows instead of double pane windows so they're more energy efficient and still allow a ton of natural light into the house. There's our signature drop zone area there. Ton of windows. All right, and then there is a coat closet as well. That's where all your data connections are gonna come in, where that cardboard is. And then this is the bonus room. Notice how wide the staircase is. It's four feet wide, which makes it a lot easier to get furniture in and out. And it's one big room. Um, some of our bonus rooms are two rooms. This one is one. 
ton of windows with natural light. There is a full bathroom up here as well. So you have your shower. And then a toilet and a vanity, obviously. And then there's no power in this house, so you can't really see very well, but there is a ton of, uh, my iPhone actually has a really good camera. You can see better than I can. Uh, um, there is a ton of storage up here. So you can kind of see, this is spray foam insulation. So all of our, the attic and all the exterior walls are gonna be spray foam insulated. And then, yeah, you really can't see. Um, there's a bunch of storage back here, but you can't really see it. Um, whenever you have power, I will show that to you. But even though we don't have power, it is not hot up here. And it is very warm in North Carolina today. And I'm not sweating. So the spray foam is doing its job. Last, I will show you the garage. Again, brick steps, raised foundation, ton of windows in the garage. The garage is finished out really nicely. Notice the oversized garage door, all the trim that is going into the house. This house is in the trimming stage right now. Um, but you can just see how big this garage is. It's, there's a lot of space in here, but it's, it's big. There's that bump out that I was showing you outside. And there is the front again. We'll just walk around. I'll show you the back of the house. Actually, they're doing something back there. Um, there's a lot of... We'll see the back of the house another day, but I hope you enjoy the tour.